my hair has been like blown out since December 2nd and it is now December 29th. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another installment of Natural Hair Rants in the Car with Felicia and if you're wondering why I'm wearing a puffer jacket that is clearly too small for me and I got it, my mom got it for me when I was 14 years old um, and it's from Hollister. Uh, I have no explanation for that but <laughs> I was running late to work and I just threw this on and it's pretty cold out but yeah. But because it's really cold out, that segues into this rant. So it is winter and where I live, the winter weather is very, very, very harsh. Very dry air and whipping winds and everything that could make your natural hair just break off instantaneously. So because of this, I had to learn the hard way that if I wear my hair and wash and goes in the winter like I do in the summertime my hair just breaks off literally almost like like I'm not even exaggerating like two inches of my hair will break off from like December to February and I didn't even realize that that had been happening like every single year of my life until I realized in January 2020 I realized that I had so many single strand knots because of wearing my hair in wash and goes. And I talked about this in my natural hair disaster story time, but like I would use a Denman brush to brush the ends of my hair and make it like really, really curly and then put it in a ponytail. And then I took the bus to school, to college, but it was like a coach bus with like the cloth seats. So my hair would like rub against the seats and like rub against my coat and like rub against scarves and sweaters and stuff in the winter. And then it would cause so many single strand knots. And I don't know why it took me so long to realize that I needed to stop doing those like curly, extremely curly washing goes with the Denman brush method. Probably by like February 2020. Then I was like, oh, well. So, um. Oh! Almost dropped my coffee. I have coffee in an open mug right now, driving to work. Wouldn't recommend it, but I do it all the time. <laughs> And I literally have coffee cups, but just, I just like living on the edge. So, um, Isi Meme Edeko, aka African Beauty, made a video that said use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil leave-in as like a blowout cream and then blow dry your hair. So I did that for the first time and I was like, where has this video been all my life? Like I needed this all of my life so I I put the um, leave-in in and then I blow dried my hair and then I trimmed my ends because I had so many single strand knots and then I left it like that for a while like probably like two weeks or something and then I did it um, a second time and I also did the blow on low heat so I wasn't causing any heat damage or anything oh someone's in the middle of the street but <laughs> Yeah, so make sure that you're doing it on low heat so you don't defeat the entire purpose of um, protecting your hair by heat damage, by, by causing heat damage. But basically, like, wearing your hair blow-dried in the wintertime is, like, a protective style, but your hair is down. And, like, I wish I knew that so much sooner. Because, actually, I'm realizing that I probably should have known this my whole life because when I was little, this is how my mom would do my hair. She would... Why am I so dumb? <laughs> I'm just like literally during this video, I'm just now realizing that when I was little, my mom would blow dry my hair and then she would like put it in twists. So then it would be like a, a twist out that was like a blow out, but then a twist out or like, like right now I have a Bantu Nano. It kind of fell out because I had to wear my hair in a bun at work yesterday, but it's like kind of intact. But she would always put my hair like that when I was younger. But then when I took the reins when I was like 13 and started, or 12 and started doing my own hair and ruining it, that I just forgot that she literally did like the blow. But now it took me years to realize that she was doing that for a reason. 
And I just had to learn the hard way that I should have listened to my mom. So the moral of the story is listen to your mom. <laughs> like on my community tab, I posted the picture when I have the short haircut when I was like four years old. And my mom had to cut off a bunch of my hair because I like refused to let her detangle it. And I kept like running away every time she would try to detangle my hair because it was so tangled that it like caused like, dreadlocks in my hair. Because I kept refusing to let her ta- um, comb my hair so many times in a row that it literally caused like dreadlocks. Because <laughs> I just kept running away. And then I was like so tender headed that like I'll be like crying and like throwing tantrums. Like I'll be like screaming. I'll be like, I was so obnoxious. Like, Felicia, stop. Felicia, stop. No, it's just, it's just hair. Calm down. But I was like, I'm like still like that. Like, I don't like my scalp being touched that much. And like, that's why I never go to the hairdresser. <laughs> I just do my own hair. Even my sister, when my sister tries to do my hair, I'm like, like the feeling is like so weird. Like, ugh. but yeah. But then someone commented, um, one of you guys commented that like, how did your mom, like, how did you even get away from your mom? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe she just felt bad for me. Cause I was like, <laughs> cause I was clearly not, not just joking around. Like it, I really was having a meltdown, but yeah. So moral of the story. However your mom did your hair when you were little, probably just do that if you want to grow long hair because your mom, like when she was taking care of you, she knew what to do with your hair. So, cause you're a child and you can't do it yourself. Yeah, for example, like a lot of um, like little girls wear the twists with like the, uh, the bobbles on them when they're little in like the nineties. But then now everyone's like, Protect, the best protective style is mini twists but it's literally just the same thing only like the adult version and like neat parts so just stick to your old ways that's the moral of the story just stick to your roots don't get too caught up in all the trends of the natural hair community because yeah I don't think I've ever seen anyone say wear your hair blow dried in the winter no 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 that's a lie because people always say wear your hair in stretch styles in the winter if you live in a uh, harsh winter climate so so yeah and like with my last natural hair rant when i was saying that like don't listen to natural hair advice it's to an extent because a lot of natural hair advice is really good but then it's just like it's like 50 50 <laughs> like there's equally as much bad advice as there is good advice sometimes on youtube so just be um just viewer discretion is advised but yeah guys if you don't want to get single strand knots in the winter, wear your hair in a low heat blowout. And the whole point of this video, which I forgot to even say this entire time, is that my hair has been like blown out since December 2nd, and it is now December 29th. And I didn't realize that until I made a TikTok yesterday. And then I was like, wait a second. My hair has been blown out in like all of my TikToks this month. Has my hair really been blow dried since the beginning of the month? And then I look, and it was like the first TikTok I made after I blow dried my hair was literally December second. I'm like, Felicia, what happened to your extremely irritated scalp that you used to have? Like before, if I left my hair in one, like if I didn't wash my hair like every couple of days before, then I would get my scalp would get so irritated, and like it would it would get bad, like. If you guys have, like, don't be embarrassed if you have very bad scalp health. Because I, I, I was there. Like, it got so bad to a point where, like, I got, um, like, my scalp literally started bleeding from it being so dry. And I don't really, like, I know that I did, like, apple cider vinegar rinses to help in, like, Aztec clay masks. But... Like, it worked too well. Like, <laughs> like clarifying my hair just worked way too well. Like, I I wonder if it, if it just changed on its own. Like, because I don't think that that could change it that drastically. But maybe it could. And maybe because I started washing my hair way less, the water, like, with way less water on my scalp all the time, then it had time to just, like, be a normal environment. So, so yeah. If you have bad scalp health, it it's, like, kind of, like, it seems counterintuitive if you have an irritated scalp but it's actually that's the only thing that will ever give you a healthy scalp like don't go too long but like start washing your hair like every like two weeks 
no this is how this is a different video but this is turning into a different video but if you have bad scalp health wash start washing your hair every two weeks and don't use any natural hair products trust me don't use any natural hair products not even conditioner and shampoo maybe shampoo maybe shampoo like the first step so shampoo your hair the first step and then put like oil like put your favorite oil in your hair after you wash it with shampoo and this is gonna sound crazy but trust me <laughs> okay now i'm at work so i have to finish this up but then oh my god my coffee just spilled all over the place oh my god <laughs> oh i'm a mess um but then leave your hair in twists for like a week and then wash your hair again and then the natural oils on your scalp will um like go down your hair strand hair strands and then do water only washing for like a month of like washing your hair like every or like do it for like two months of or, or a month and a half of washing your hair every like week and a half or two weeks and trust me and then also after that like after your scalp after your hair like has time to breathe then um people are like staring at me driving back talking to myself <laughs> well i'm not talking to myself i'm talking to you guys but it seems like i'm talking to myself at the moment um once your hair has time to breathe then do the apple cider vinegar rinses and the aztec clay mask while going back to your regular natural hair products like sham uh shampoo conditioner deep conditioner leave-in oil and then your scalp will be reset so yes trust me that's how i reset my scalp and i can make a more in-depth video of that because that was kind of just like randomly tagged on to the end of the video <laughs> so but thank you guys so much for watching this third installment of natural hair rants with felicia aka sunflower natural and i never say my youtube name in my videos which is funny like i feel like most people say hey guys my name is felicia aka sunflower natural and welcome to my channel but i never really say anything in my intro i need a new intro i'm slacking <laughs> oil change doing 1400 miles i'm really slacking off but yeah guys so now i should probably go to work and thank you guys so much for watching comment below your thoughts on my unconventional natural hair tips and comment below if if this stuff i'm saying would like literally never work for you in a million years also comment below why it would never work because i know that it won't work for a lot of people because because <laughs> i have very like weird hair but and comment below if you have weird hair like me like really fine strands that are so fragile why is there something in my hair that are so fragile that you're just scared to even even touch it or it'll break off but yeah guys and i think we're like 18 subscribers away from 6,000. so thank you guys so much for subscribing and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys